Hello and welcome to the IT Conversions User Productivity Kit Tutorial Series. This is a demonstration of what options are available for the different deployment formats when publishing content using the Oracle UPK Developer. When publishing content to the deployment formats, the developer creates a package which can then be placed on a web server for users to view online. Viewing options are also available offline. The deployment formats include packages for the player and LMS, HTML websites, and standalone topic files. There are several options available for the deployment formats in the publishing wizard. In this tutorial, we are going to walk you through those various options. Let's first start by taking a look at the options available under the player and LMS deployment format. Under the content subcategory, your first option will be sound. Here you can select one of three sound playback quality settings. You have the option to exclude sound playback by changing the settings to none. Next, we can convert screenshots to 256 color, which reduces the size of the publishing topic and improves the playback speed. If you have created web pages or HTML links to content from a previous version, use the Create Links for Backward Compatibility to generate a folder structure that will allow you to keep the existing links without needing to update them. If a user's browser is not supported by the player, you can use the Include HTML website option to launch the HTML format instead. Select the Create Zip file from Publishing Player Package if you want to import the content into an LMS. Select Include Test It Mode adds Test It Mode to the player and all topics are published no matter what other modes are enabled. Under the player preferences, you will have Marquee Color, which sets the color for the action area that appears in the See It, Try It, and Do It modes. On the Play Audio, you can set how audio plays in the player. The Default Playback Mode option controls the default mode launched when double-clicking on a topic in the outline. If you want the introduction frame to show as the first frame during playback, select Show Introduction Frame. Selecting the Enable User to Change Their Player Preferences option enables any user to change the settings. Enable Skipping and Try It mode allows users to advance to the next step in Try It mode by pressing Enter instead of performing the action in the bubble. Enable Outline Navigation buttons to use arrows to move up and down the outline. If a user launches the player content, in a context-sensitive manner from a target or web application and only one topic is returned, the topic is automatically launched in the Do It mode when using Enable Direct Do It. Lastly, you can select a key combination for advancing to the next step in Do It mode. Under the Print It category, you will see the format for Print It mode, which can be used to determine which style is included when you publish formats in the supported Print It mode. Each document output uses text from a specific mode, and in this option specify the mode text. Screenshots are included in a document based on all the settings for the topics in the topic editor. This option allows you to override those settings and choose to include one screenshot per topic. As for content, convert screenshots to 256 color. Alternative actions and paths appear in the document and presentation outputs use include alternative to make this output simpler with only one set of steps. Relative links are included in all printed outputs with the exception of the test case. Turn this option off to exclude relative links from the printed output. Use an output format. Choose a Microsoft file type that fits your version. The paper size is set based on the location settings in the regional and language option for your operating system locale. Override this setting by choosing a different paper size. The LMS option creates a learning specification complaint course material and performs all the tasks required to generate content files that are ready to be integrated with your learning management system. Under this category, you will have to select a SCORM version for publication. Prefix URL allows you to enter the URL prefix that points to the location where the package will be placed on the LMS server. The Knowledge Center publishing option allows you to use content created in the developer and publish it to the Knowledge Center service. Select Publish Content to the Knowledge Center to publish new content to or update existing content directly to the Knowledge Center server. 
If you are using the Publish Content to Knowledge Center option for the first time, the server settings are empty. Use the Server Setting button to specify the login credentials. Publishing content from an HTML website allows user to view content without downloading a web plugin or installing content. The available publishing options for the HTML website is to convert the screenshot to 256 color. The standalone topic files create content sources with a file .odtpc for each topic and contain everything needed for playback and see it, try it, know it, do it modes without having to be associated with a content source. The following options are available for the standalone topic files. Under content, you will have sound and convert screenshots to 256 color. Under output, you will have the option to use the encoded folder and file names, which will publish the content using the document in the GUID instead of actual module section and topic names. Encoding shortened path names and prevents the possibility of duplicate file names in the published output. This option makes it more difficult to identify the source base on the file name. Under print it, you'll have the same options as for the player and the LMS. This concludes our tutorial on what options are available for the different deployment formats when publishing content using the Oracle UPK developer. On behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to join the IT Convergence YouTube channel where you can learn more about the user productivity kit features and functions.